This week on the show, we have Lebanese singer Mariam Faraz. Her song Tuka Taka featuring Nicki Minaj and Maluma became the 2022 FIFA Fan Festival anthem for the 2022 World Cup. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of learning to let go and trust the timing of your life. The reality is it's natural to want to control every aspect of your life. After all, being in control gives us a sense of certainty to know what to expect. But the reality is there are moments in life where we must give up the need to micromanage every aspect of our lives and simply trust the process. Whether it's trusting your career will work out or whether it's trusting that the right things will come to you at the right time in divine timing. Those beliefs require putting your faith in something bigger than yourself and trusting the timing of your life. After all, there are some things we can and cannot control. So letting go and trusting the process is the key to living a life of peace and prosperity. Most often, the things we worry about the most end up working out better than we could have imagined, panning out in its own unique way and timeline. As Osho quotes, detach from needing to have things work out in a certain way. The universe is perfect and there are no failures. Give yourself the gift of detaching from your worries and trust that everything is happening perfectly. Stay tuned, coming up after the break, in 2022, your song Tuka Taka became the official Viva World Cup fan anthem. So what was it like being part of this global event and bringing your culture to the world? It's every artist's dream to participate in such a huge event. And for me, it was a dream come true. And it was an honor when FIFA and Qatar chose me to represent the Arab countries. I didn't sing just the track. I had the opportunity to participate in the lyrics, writing the lyrics, doing the, the melody, uh, arranging, uh, producing, and I, I, I also did the, the choreography of the music video myself, which made this experience like more interesting and, and special for me. Wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Next up on the show, we have Lebanese singer Marianne Faraz. Her song Tuka Taka featuring Nicki Minaj and Maluma became the 2022 FIFA Fan Festival anthem for the 2022 World Cup. Miriam, thank you so much for being on this show today. Hello, thank you. Thank you so much for asking, Habibi. I'm so good enjoying my life with the family, the kids and a little bit busy with some new projects. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I want to talk about your song Tuka Taka, which was the 2022 Viva World Cup fan anthem. A lot of people in North America discovered your music then, but you've been in this industry for over a decade. I know that you started in 2003. So what steps did you take to turn your passion into a career? Well, everything I have done throughout my childhood and teenage years uh, have shaped who I am today. And I remember very well when I was like four or five years, um, I was pretty sure that one day I'm gonna be a professional uh, artist. And because I believe that the talent alone is not enough, so I worked very hard to develop it. And in the Middle East, you're known as the queen of the stage for your unique performances. So how's it been to see your success grow globally? I'm blessed to go beyond the borders of the Arab world, to spread my music to the world. And you know, I, I work very, very hard to reach where I am today. And I believe that uh, the reason behind my success 
is my unique music style and performance. And in 2018, your song Gumi became viral on TikTok. I know it surpassed over 8.4 billion views. So tell us how you were able to make this viral dance challenge. I'm being very honest with you. I don't know why this specific dance challenge went viral in this crazy way and invaded the world from east to west. But in my opinion, uh, the simplicity of the lyrics and the uniqueness of the music make this difference. And in 2021, you became one of the first Arab artists to have a Netflix special. Uh, congratulations, by the way, I had a chance to watch it. So your Netflix special is The Journey and it was fantastic. So let's talk about that milestone and what it meant for you. At the beginning of the pandemic, I discovered that I was pregnant with my second child. And I had all the time to film every single moment. I wanted my pregnancy to be like secret until I reveal it in a short video um, uh, when the pandemic ends. And the pandemic never ended. So this small video became a full uh, documentary on Netflix, uh, revealing all stages of my pregnancy until my delivery. And uh, despite all sadness of that period, I wanted to show the good side of the quarantine and how we can spend quality time with our beloved ones. In 2022, your song Tuka Taka became the official Viva World Cup fan anthem. So what was it like being part of this global event and bringing your culture to the world? It's every artist's dream to participate in such a huge event. And for me, it was a dream come true. And it was an honor when FIFA and Qatar chose me to represent the Arab countries. I didn't sing just the track. I had the opportunity to participate in the lyrics, writing the lyrics, doing the, the melody, uh, arranging, uh, producing, and I, I, I also did the the choreography of the music video myself which made this experience like more interesting and and special for me and i created my platform to inspire and showcase trailblazers like yourself and their success stories so what are some obstacles that you went through in your life or your career and how did you get through them and also what advice would you have for someone that is also going through a difficult time? As every human being, I faced a lot of challenges in my career and my personal life. I got through all of them by believing in myself, believing in my art, ideas and focusing. And this is what I love to, to inspire others to do. Just Know what you want, know exactly what you want and focus and believe in yourself and don't get distracted by negative people. And Miriam, what are your current projects? I'm in continuous preparation for like short and long term uh, projects. But, you know, I, I, I love to keep the element of the suspense to to surprise my audience and my fans. And Miriam, thank you so much for being on the show today. Congratulations on all your success and we hope to have you back soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for this lovely interview. I enjoy it and it's nice meeting you. Salam. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live to YouTube and Facebook.